The Spaniards arrived in Potosi in Bolivia in 1545 to exploit silver deposits at Chiriricu, referred to at the time as the richest mountain ever discovered anywhere on earth. Exploiting the silver at Potosi required a large labor force. African slaves and indigenous natives were used. It is estimated that six to eight million miners died extracting the ore due to exposure, brutal labor conditions, and from mercury poisoning as a result of the refining process. Cerro Rico dominates the skyline at the town of Potosi, which itself lies at an altitude of 5,000 meters. My profession as a geologist has afforded me the opportunity to visit many underground operations around the world. So I signed up with a local tour company which advertised the opportunity to see a working mine firsthand. Currently the mine is being worked by indigenous locals who have organized themselves as mining cooperatives. And while we were waiting for the tour to commence, one of them proudly paraded by. Our first stop en route to the mine is the miners market, where we are encouraged to buy supplies, which we can then donate to the men we will meet on the road. miners in the morning are arriving here for to buy the coca. The coca is more important for miners, because the miners every day they use chewy coca like this, one by one. That, uh, the you need to mix, this is the ash, this is sweet potato, this is banana anise, like the sugar, this is quinoa ash. Yeah? The man has the chewy coca like this, after the few minutes in there, you are sleeping in the mouth. When they sleep in the mouth, no hungry, no tired, nothing. It's necessary mix all together. You understand? In there, anise, cinnamon, Eucalyptus, little bit tobacco black, this is good cigarette for the mines. Hmm? You understand? Yes. We can even purchase dynamite. Nitroglycerin. You see? Okay. So that's not mine. Uh, you want to eat it? <laughs> no, my. <laughs> for preparation, you need to prepare this diffuse and this is the detonator. Only this is dangerous. They put it inside in here like that. Oh. When they, together, when they mix this is nitrate, ammonium nitrate. Together it's big explosion, only dynamite is small explosion. It's necessary to mix all together like that. Yeah. After making our purchases, we make our way to the mine where we get changed into our underground gear. The combination of altitude, dampness, rising temperatures and low ceilings makes the tour strenuous and uncomfortable. I'm sorry my friend, the mines is from Bolivia, not for Europe, people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you understand I am small? <laughs> mm -hmm. <Are> you? <laughs> He's very tall man. You understand? Are you okay, bye guys? Are you feeling very well? Yes, yes we should find. I soon realize that this is not a working part of the mine. It is too quiet and clean. It is for the tourists. As we penetrate deeper, we start to see the colors associated with the silver mineralization. And then suddenly, up above us, is the rich silver seam which everyone is seeking. It's much hot, much inside, right? You understand? Mm -hmm. yeah. Much hot. We clamber down to the next level to see a miner at work. Two hours or three hours open this hole for the put in dynamite. It takes three hours for dynamite in a yeah. hole. It's two hours. It's necessary two hours for the digging one hole, the 30 or 4 centimeters. Centimeters. It's necessary 30 centimeters or 4 centimeters for the footing dynamite. Following the thin silver bearing seam necessitates maneuvering through some very narrow openings. Go. 
The miners believe that since they are working underground, they might meet the devil. So they have built a shrine to which they offer gifts of appeasement. The miners arrive here every Friday offering this alcohol. Yeah? It's customers, they offer it in the head. Yeah, for the get more concentration. Uh, in the pyme, he said it's for the get more fertilization in the mine. After the miners uh, offering it in the four points. Why? Because geologically the miners working in four directions. Yeah, the north, south, east, west. I am yeah. curious about child labor. Children not allowed to work in what? Walking. There are not a lot, like oh. the many years ago. <coughs> the start of the work is the 14 years old. After only a few hours underground, we head for the exit, tired and sore. It is not difficult to imagine how spending a lifetime working in these conditions would be hazardous to one's health and longevity. Whilst my eyes adjust to the bright sunshine and my lungs gulp in the fresh cold mountain air, I find myself reflecting on how little conditions have changed. For those men currently working in the poor developing countries, extracting the minerals that have become indispensable for modern society.